hello students uh, today we are going to discuss about the another plant fibers obtained from the uh, leaf of the plant that is called a sisal fiber s i s a l sisal fiber right so this is the uh, very good example from the plant fiber obtained from the leaves right so here you can see into the image the leaves uh, how it is looking like a aloe vera leaves uh, in the same way like uh, rux bargiana also it will be there in the same way right so in the another image the down image the fiber has been removed from the uh, leaves and they are drying into the uh, some uh, rows right here in sun drying they are doing right so that is the uh, fibers uh, which is uh, obtained from the surface of the leaves right so when we talk about the sisal fiber it is one of the most widely used natural fibers and is easily cultivated right the cultivation doesn't require so many complicated types of methodology it is not like that it can be cultivated easily uh, in any of the land right sisal is a hard fiber right it is having some uh, more tensile strength and uh, uh, which is extracted from the leaf of the sisal plant that is known as agave sisalana right so here you can see into the image uh, once again into the another uh, view that leaf how it is looking like in the down portion there is a somewhat uh, uh, stem part sisal plant that is the agave sisalana and uh, after making the fiber you can see here white color in the left side right how the uh, fiber it looks like once it will be extracted or uh, purified from the leaves after removing the pulp Sisal fiber it is exceptionally durable with the low maintenance with minimum wear and tear. It is recyclable. Sisal fiber are obtained from the outer leaf skin. Remember the leaf, whatever the leaf it is there we have seen into the image. The outer skin or outer surface the fiber only it will be there that we need to remove as a remover by removing the inner pulp the inner pulp uh, uh, we have to remove we had we don't want to consider when we are doing the uh, processing the fiber like uh, in every leaves like in aloe vera leaves also if you will cut longitudinal so many pulps or cell debris will be present no in likewise in this leaf also there will be some cell debris or inner pulp will be there that we are removing and we are considering only outer leaf skin it is available as plaid and uh, herring bone and a twill form right sisal fibers are anti static and does not attract or trap dust particles that's very very important property which this leaf is having right it does not attract or trap dust particles the dust particle cannot settle onto the surface of the leaf the texture it will be there in a such a way and it does not absorb moisture or water easily right if you will if you will intentionally if also if you will put some drop of water it will not uh, uh, absorbed onto the surface it will just uh, move away from the surface of the leaf the fine texture takes dyes easily the another property it will take the dyes means colors easily and offer the largest range of dyed colors of the all natural fibers so if you will consider all other natural fiber compare all other with the all other natural fibers it will be allowing the largest range of dyed colors right it exhibits good sound and impact absorbing properties right the its leaves can be treated with the natural borax borax powder all of you know the borax one of the chemical if you treat with the natural borax it becomes fire resistance property the fire will not have much impact on to that right it can absorb certain temperature or heat use an application of the sisal fiber it is used commonly into the shipping industry right in the shipping industry those industry which will transport the articles or wettage material from one place to another place for mooring small craft uh, for lashing and uh, also handling the cargo different types of cargo uh, services it is available from government and non government organization those those people they are using for the bags and some article purpose so that they can protect the things uh, which is there inside the sisal fiber bags or inside the uh, this article right so because it is uh, uh, not attracting the uh, the bacteria virus and uh, some other insects uh, water molecules and uh, also the uh, it is having the fire resistance it is also springly used as a uh, as the fiber core of the steel wire cable of elevators right in elevator so many steel wires it is being used so for the cover of those steel wires uh, this fiber also very much useful and being used for lubrications 
and flexibility purpose because the the tensile strength of this fiber it is there in a such way so that it can be used for the lubrication or flexibility the because it is flexible that's what for that reason for that intention it is used into the so many organizations traditionally sizzles wall was uh, was the leading material for agriculture twin and uh, baller twins right in cultivation and collection also this uh, is uh, one of the leading material traditionally although this has now been uh, uh, overtaken by the poly polypropylene right polypropylene nowadays they are using they are uh, not using the sizzle fiber it is used in automobile industries for fire glass in composite material right so in automobile industry like car bus jeep truck uh, whatever the automobile companies are there they are using for the uh, the glass to make the fiber glass right so that uh, it will be fire resistant uh, the other product developed from sizzel fiber include spa products like the spa and massage and all the beautification purpose right then cat uh, scratching post uh, lumbar support belts uh, rocks uh, sleepers cloths uh, disc buffers these are the other uh, articles which can be prepared from the this fiber sizzle is used by itself in carpets or in the blends with uh, wool and uh, acrylic for a softer hand right so so many carpets it is being used uh, like red carpet blue carpet whatever the tent house people they are using and uh, other people so carpet can be used for the house purpose indoor in, uh, the indoor de decoration and all for all those things sizzle is a fully biodegradable and highly renewable resource of energy the material is chosen to improve the various strength property of the structure to obtain sustainability and better quality structure we can go for this there are three types of fiber in sizzle that is the arc fibers conducting fibers and the structural fibers out of which out of those three structural fibers are most adopted because of its durability as they do not split during the extraction process when we are extracting from the leaves of the sizzle plant it is not splitting right these fibers have a good tension resistance or tensile strength they are very well resistance against the heat that we have discussed that the fire it can tolerate up to the maximum extent that's what it become ideal sizzle fibers of diameter 0.6 mm and the length is 4.5 cm in use used in experiment right so uh, this property durable this we have discussed already application of sizzle fiber it is also used into the cement uh, reinforcement in developing countries sizzle fibers are used as a reinforcement in houses right that's what wow, the raincoat that will be prepared by this right the sizzle is also used in housing schemes so many housing schemes it is there uh, movable non movable and different types of housing scheme by governmental and non governmental organizations sizzle's house is the penalized system for the building emergency shelters like uh, right uh, it used the pre made panel and that are connected to the form a shed like structure like uh, the some area uh, the people they may suffering from flood uh, earthquake uh, heavy rainfall thunderstorm so their house will destroy and the whenever the government or non government organization they will send the relief team they will make the uh, emergency shelters right where the people can stay and uh, like a house only so they are uh, these are used as a emergency shelters and later can be uh, disassembled and reused and converted into the permanent house also if required right so that is a very good uh, 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 example or advantage with this uh, uh, fiber right sizzle based bricks also available then roughing tiles available insulation materials and uh, fire boards also can be used for the different purpose by the different organizations it is also used in tubes bars pipe fitting internal heat sound insulation of floors walls frame walls boiler cells tanks chimneys by the different industries those who are uh, removing the fumes fire protection structures etc due to its its uh, strong applications in construction materials right so it is having lot of uh, important use of this fiber and uh, this become very important drug why because this is obtaining from the leaves other fibers we may getting from the stem or some other part of the plant so in plant fiber this is the very important sizzle fiber